it's the Anything Goes Podcast, man. It's your boy, Sean Peoples. Hey, people, listen, man. If you like our vibes, you like the movement, like, subscribe, share, man. Comment in the comment section, man. Ring the notification bell so you can keep up with everything that we got going on, man. And jump in the community tab to see what we got going on with the channel. We always got some new stuff going on, man. So jump in the community tab and see what's going on up there. Well, here we have it. Here we go. Certified Lover Boys out. Donda is out. You know, I guess we have all listened to it. We have all heard. What do you think about it? Is that album popping? Is it not? Is it trash? Is it hot? You know, y'all be the judge. Let me know. But I got a question for you guys, man. Can you be a great or one of the great or can you be the greatest with a Ghost Rider? Can you be the best rapper with a Ghost Rider? So Kanye has been known to have Ghost Riders, team of Ghost Riders. Allegedly, Drake got Ghost Riders. So my question to you guys is, can you be the best rapper with a Ghost Rider? Is that cheating? Is that a cheat code? Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about this. So for me, personally, I don't think you can be the best rapper. With a ghost writer. I think you can be the best entertainer. You can be the best person that uh, sings a song. But I think the raw talent of you being able to make these songs yourself without any help, without anybody coaching you through it, without anybody showing you what type of structure, what format, you know, you should you should do the song in. It's a, it's a credit to me that you're great, that you're really uh, a genius. And... Um, I don't consider Kanye West a genius when it comes to a rapper. I don't even put him in the greats. And you, you know, I mean, I knew ahead of time when Jesus Walk was released that Kanye West didn't release that song because I heard the first version of it from um, what is that um dude dude from Chicago that uh sing the song for him that wrote the song for him. I heard it, you know, so I knew that Kanye West didn't write it. Uh, I was in the military with this kid from Chicago. And he had a whole bunch of songs, man, he was playing. And um, and Jesus Walk was one of them. So I knew Kanye West didn't write that song. So when I heard Kanye West singing that song, um, pretty much verbatim from what dude was saying, I, you know, that's when I realized Kanye, because I used to thought Kanye wrote his own stuff. I didn't know that he wasn't, you know, he didn't write his own stuff. So I found out that he write, he didn't write his own stuff then. Now with Drake now, you know, the speculations are there. We all heard the 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 tapes, you know. We all heard the reference tracks. You know, Hot 97 even played the reference tracks, which is kind of foul to me. It's like they was picking a side in that whole Meek Mill and Drake beef when I think that the radio station should be mutual when it comes to stuff like that. You play everybody music. You don't really pick a side, but you know how that business goes. It's the entertainment business. When some people don't like some people, they do what they need to do. But my personal opinion is, man, I don't feel you can be a great or one of the great with a ghost writer. I just don't see how that's possible. I don't see how you can be the greatest MC when somebody else writing your rhymes for you. And I'm I'm aware that there's plenty of rappers out there that we think write their own rhyme that don't write their own rhyme. I, you know, I heard the stories from guys that I've met that's in the industry and, you know, around a couple of dudes that I know around the place that have explained stuff to me and told me how, you know, how this works. So my question to you guys is, do y'all agree with me? Do you or don't you? Can Kanye be the greatest rapper, greatest MC, with a ghostwriter? How about Drake? I mean, Drake has been giving us hits after hits after hits. After a while, I guess a ghostwriter doesn't matter. But, you know, a lot of MCs have used, uh, rappers have used Ghost Rider. You know, Dr. Dre, Diddy, you know, Snoop Dogg. A lot of guys have used Ghost Riders. But at the end of the day, I don't see them running around saying that they're the greatest MCs or they're the greatest rappers. Kanye has stated that he's the greatest. Drake wants to be the greatest. He has been pushing to be the greatest ever since he has came out. And that's a thing that he wanted to, that he really, really wanted to do. So... Let's hear it, guys. Tell me what y'all think. Jump in the comment section. Let me know if Kanye West 
can go down as one of the greatest rappers slash MC, or if Drake can go down one of the greatest rappers slash MCs. I mean, a lot of people say it's up in the air for Drake that it might be fake, it might, but we hear the reference tracks. But I still think that Drake writes a lot of his own music. I still think Drake is a good pensman when it comes to music, because after all, he was helping write songs for Kanye, and he wrote songs for other rappers too, so he have to know how to write songs. So maybe he just it's maybe it's just a collaborated effort, not necessarily meaning that Drake just steadily use a bunch of ghostwriting like Kanye. Kanye got a whole the team of people writing the songs for him. So you know, um, I guess if I was to pick one, I would have to say maybe Drake. But to me, if you use a ghostwriter in any way, shape, or form, you can't be considered one of the greats. But jump in the comment section and let me know what you guys think, man. I just wanted to get this across there to y'all. Let me know what's going on. Jump in the comment section. And let me know what's going on. Hit like. Don't forget to hit like. And don't forget we're here each and every Thursday night for Ratchet Righteous Thursdays. It's a live podcast that we do from 8 to 10 o'clock. And then we're here on Sundays, every Sunday for Top 5 Sundays from 8 to 9 o'clock. Hey, man. You like the vibes, like the movement, like, subscribe, share, man. Comment in the comment section. Ring the notification bell so you can keep up with what's going on. Man, it's the Anything Goes Podcast. You see the name? It's your boy, Sean Peoples, AGP family. Man, we out of here.